a good father to you are to who he you is are, and i'll be loved by you man god's a good god isn't he yep no matter what we do no matter how messed up we are he's still a good father mm-hmm. and uh, yeah there's nothing that we can do that can uh, change that <laughs> he just loves us he cares right. about us and um yeah there's no sin that he could not accept you know he died for us so <laughs> his love is greater than sin um i want to i want to ask you this question how has god revealed himself or has worked in your life in recently any anything recent how he has revealed something to you taught you something that you'd like to share um yeah definitely um recently okay recently let me see um i mean like the most recent i could think of will be um the pandemic you know i mean i think we've kind of talked about it last time a little bit but um definitely um i lost my job during the pandemic and um so I quit my job to get a new job. And then two weeks in the new job, I lost the job because of the pandemic. And nope. obviously, um, all the bills were coming in. Um, and every time I had to, every time I needed to, food to eat, every time I needed to pay a bill, every time I almost, um, the, the car company would um, literally, um, they, they almost took my car, actually. <laughs> Um, and um, every time I need to pay something, like a little project or a little side job would come up, and then that will be sufficient enough for me to survive for another month or for, right. another, for the following weeks. And though I was going through that um, tough season of my life, obviously not being able to be with my family and um, not being able to work, not being able to pro- to provide for myself and for my family and for the people that I'm supporting. Um, he has carried me through. Um, so I would say even though I was going through hard times, I was also at peace. You know, you can be you you can be in a storm. You can be going through a storm or a trial, but also you can be at peace at the same time. And like what the song says, the love unexplainable. You know, it's a, it's the love and a, the peace that, that is unexplainable. It's because it's coming from God. So, yes. yeah, I think that's, that's one thing I could share. That's very true. He's a good provider. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and it's spectacular, you know, the feeling of having that peace yeah. in the tribulation, in the storm. Because in this world, we're surrounded by struggles, problems, drama, evil sin all those things very much exposed to those things yet if you have that relationship with god he gives you that peace in it all in your heart and it's just spec it's such an awesome feeling you know to be able to experience that um to put your trust in god yeah so definitely because there's nowhere else there's no other choice you know it's not yeah it's not a- you know what I was thinking while I was going through that. You know, everybody, everybody in, all over the world are having a hard time. It's not a special case. It's not. It's not just me specifically. It's everyone. So what can I do? So what can I do? There's nothing that I can do. I, all I can do is just surrender, trust, and obey, and have faith, and spend time with Jesus Christ. You know, and um, and that helped a lot. That helped a lot with all the anxiety, with all the worries. Um, that helped a lot. Instead of me focusing on like, oh, I don't have any more money, you know. Um, sorry, hello. Can you guys hear me better? I feel like people. Hello. Yes, yeah, here, uh, Marco. <laughs> uh, no. Hello. 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 Reading you guys' comments now. Please update us if you can hear Marco. Okay. Okay. okay sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, so what I was saying earlier, like, there's really nothing that you can do. We just have to surrender, you know, um, 
Absolutely. like when things like this happens, like a disaster or a pandemic happen, it's, you know, it, it, we can't, not unless you're a scientist, you know, we cannot really do anything but wait up until, you know, the government has something for us. Like right now we have the vaccine, but during um, the pandemic last year, I mean, we're still in the pandemic, you know, like all we can do is just spend time with Jesus and believe that he's going to come through. Mm -hmm. He's no, yeah. So. Yeah. I know in this time of pandemic, it's a lot of struggles and hardships for a lot of people yet at the same time, um, there's also blessings in it. Uh, and can you see me or hear me, Marco? Yes, I can hear you. Sorry, sorry. I just no. have to check something real quick. Sorry. No worries. But what I was saying is during the pandemic, uh, this time, um, for example, I, I don't think I would have ever had this platform right here on Kumu during this time if things didn't happen the way they happened. Uh, the way I see it is everything works for the good of those who love God. So whenever there is struggle, tribulation, um, God is still in control and can use, allow these things to happen so that he can reach out to his children, save souls. Uh, so I, I, I believe he's still with us and Kai hit all the struggles in the world, he's still in control. Um, I noticed you recently as well, you have your own live stream that you do. Um, could yeah. you tell us a bit about that? Um, so I do live stream once a week. It's normally on a Saturday. Um, I think it's I think it's 11 p.m. in the Philippines and it's 8 a.m. for me. Okay. Um, so normally, um, sometimes I'll do just the worship stream. Um, I recently I recently just celebrated my first month. Um, um, monthsary, that's what they cool. call it here on Kumu. Um, uh, as a streamer, as a verified streamer here on yeah. Kumu, and I was, you know, thanks again for gracing us with your presence um, for the it's celebration. God, so, so <laughs> but yeah, I'm also a streamer, guys. So uh, my stream will be every Saturdays. I'm part of Team Konyo. Um, I'm part of Titos of Kumu because I am a Tito. <laughs> Do you have kids? Huh? You have kids? No, I don't have kids, but I have nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, we're a little bit on the... Um, I'm not going to say I'm old, okay? I'm not old, okay, guys? <laughs> but you can, I'm, I'm allowing you guys to call me a Tito. <laughs> I've seen the comments. Uh, Marco is single. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm looking for a woman of God, guys. Nice. Uh, same. Awesome. What's um, your, uh, what type of girl are you looking for? Uh, you know what? As long as um, she has the same kind of faith that I have, that should be enough. You That's know? Cool. Um, I, uh, I'm not really looking for anything else as long as she's uh, a blessing from God, then, you know, that's all that matters to me. Straight. Yeah, guys, yeah, I, I used to no, I used to I used to have like oh she gotta be this she gotta be this she gotta be this you know what as long as she loves the Lord the way I love the Lord that should be enough for me. You yeah, know? <laughs> that's, the best part in that is that God can use her to keep you on fire to keep yeah. you things to you. What a beautiful relationship it is when two put God first and then God can use them both for each other's. Yeah, definitely. Yeah help benefiting each other growing faith yeah how about you how about <laughs> I, i'm sure everybody wants to know the answer for that question <laughs> i'm i'm focused on my journey right now with the lord um if it's god's timing and god's will that i find a girl that has the same faith as me to help me grow it's something that i am praying for um but at the end of the day i don't know the future yeah. all i know now is that god has put me on a new journey and that I give my whole life to. So really, it's kind of just coming down to prayer. I, I trust God and uh, he knows what's best for me and whoever yeah. the girl may be. So that's that. Yeah, definitely. As um, like we are his precious, precious kids, so we shouldn't um, rush into things. 
um, we should we shouldn't settle for less just because we're getting pressured that oh I need to get married or you know um, we should oh yeah we should we should follow what God is trying to give us. Amen. Yeah. Thank you guys for the comments. Also, I'm reading the comments. Don't worry about everything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for that. Um, yeah, no pressure. God's time. Amen. God's time and trust God. Thank you guys for your comments, your feedback. Um, it's it means a lot that we also can see um, your guys' comments and how how you guys are feeling or if you guys have anything you want to say scriptures also please if scripture comes to your heart comment it below me and mark would love to read it um but at this time i also want to open up the the door to a, another song that i believe you have prepared if that's yeah yeah um so this song um is entitled do it again do it again yeah okay. um this this song just tells how God will, he's going to keep blessing us and he's going to keep doing it again. He's going to keep showing up for us. Um, yeah, though nothing can ever stop him from loving us, from saving us, from finding yeah. us. So, um, and he's going to be there all throughout. Um, yeah. So hope you guys like this next song. I'm reading the comments. My first time to be here and I'm blessed of the stream. I'm happy to read that, Jarek. Um, hello, Kirizzi saying yes, in God's perfect time, your God's best will come. Uh, thank you guys for your feedback. Uh, Marco will sing another song for us now. Um, and the song is called, one more time Do first. It Again. Do It Again. <laughs> What's up, God's love is never failing. Take it away, <laughs> Sir Marco, whenever you're ready. Please let me... There you go. <laughs> Hallelujah, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. He never failed us and he never will fail us. Definitely. Definitely. He will never. He, you know, it says um, in the lyrics, I've seen you move. I've seen you move mountains and we believe that he will do it again. Um, so yeah, there's really nothing that can challenge us, uh, challenge him, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Praise God. <laughs> Amen, bro.